If you were planning to rent an Airbnb to host a party, you might want to cancel it and get your money back. Airbnb announced a ban on all parties and events at its rental property, citing health reasons. Have you been to a house party during the pandemic? I mean, it's just me at my apartment. It's party there. Sounds like a party. Airbnb will introduce a 16-person occupancy cap for its bookings. Instituting a global ban on parties and events is in the best interest of public health, the company said in the blog post. The ban applies to all future bookings on Airbnb and will remain in effect until further no notice. The announcement comes a day after Airbnb said it had submitted a draft registration to the Securities and Exchange Commission for an initial public offering. I'm just curious on how they're going to, like, actually enforce that because yeah. I mean what are they gonna do like have Airbnb police at every place <laughs> Airbnb you go? police. The Trump administration formally notified the United Nations of its demand to restore the UN sanctions against Iran. This immediately set off a confrontation with Russia and other Security Council members including some of the USA's European allies calling the move illegal. Illegal. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo cited significant Iranian violations of the 2015 Iranian nuclear deal, stating at a UN press conference, the United States will never allow the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism to freely buy and sell planes, tanks, missiles, and other kinds of conventional weapons, or to have a nuclear weapon. The U.S. will also extend its arms embargo, which originally was set to expire October 18th, and also prohibit Iran from ballistic missile testing and enrichment of nuclear material. God, that, that is insane. Yeah, it just shoots over my head. Though. Oh, like, you know, no. I, like, foreign policy, just keep us safe. Oscar the Golden Boy de la Hoya has officially announced his return to boxing. The 47-year-old has not fought in 12 years when he lost an eight rounds to Manny Pacquiao in 2008. His current record is 39 wins, six losses, with 30 KOs and a gold medal in the 1992 Olympics. De La Hoya stated that he will not be engaging in an exhibition fight like Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. It's a real fight, he said. I miss being in the ring. I love boxing. Boxing is what gave me everything I have today, and I just miss it. And he is hoping to fight any top guy out there. Honestly, I prefer boxing over MMA the 90s version though because now again you can tell like sometimes it could be rigged yeah. um, and it's definitely about the money MMA is fun to watch yeah. but something about the 90s like the like Tyson Roy Jones jr. Lewis getting arrested on a yacht sounds like something out of a movie but it actually happened to Steve Bannon on Thursday. Bannon was President Donald Trump's former advisor and has been charged with defrauding donors of hundreds of thousands of dollars as part of a fundraising campaign that was supporting Trump's wall. The story is super long and nuanced, which isn't what our show is about, so go do some research if you're really interested to learn more. Man, that sucks. Can you imagine? Like, he was probably drinking his uh, fresh squeezed mimosa on his yacht. <laughs> yeah. If there was one place that I wouldn't want to have an air leak, it would be in the International Space Station. Back in September of 2019, so long ago, NASA noticed a faster than usual air leak from the ISS. But things have been busy up there since then, and now that things are slowing down, NASA and its Russian partner, Roscosmos, are going to try and hunt down the leak this weekend. <laughs> Good luck with that, like. Good luck, fam. <laughs> Looks like the Lakers are going to be just fine. The Lakers dominated the Portland Trailblazers 111 to 88, recovering from a game one loss with a blowout win. This is the Lakers' first playoff game win in eight years, and their first playoff game win without Kobe Bryant. Anthony Davis went off. He had 31 points, three assists, and 11 rebounds. I mean, he had more rebounds than LeBron James and me. <laughs> I haven't been like too in tune with the NBA this season, but with LeBron, you always have a chance of going to the finals pretty much. Like Thanks again for tapping into the daily news with us. If you love this video, and I know you did because you're back watching us, make sure to subscribe and like this video and then go ahead and watch our next videos on here. We have a lot of really good ones. Stay classy and sassy. I'm Sherry. I'm Tanner. And we'll see you next time, Ibble fam. Bye. Bye.